Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo guide on how to complete the new expunge mission which came in Season of the Splicer. So, as you can see here, start off, you run up to here and you access this door, and then it's just a little kind of maze. As you'll see, I drop here, might look like I almost died, but just because there's a triumph for doing it under 10 minutes, what, I just, what I'm trying to do is save time, so I never boosted, never boosted at all. Uh, there is a thing in Destiny 2, you, if you land on a flat surface, you, w you, you will sustain a lot of damage, but you won't die. So if you just follow the maze that I'm, it, that's basically what it is. You follow this, this pathway and it will lead you out here, drop down, you just follow a, this route. Be very careful when you get to this part because that door slides open and close, so if you're not careful, it will close on you and it will kill you. You'll probably make it through two of these... Uh, doorways before the third one locks you out and then you'll drop down here when you drop down there'll be a little sliding bit on your left hand side as you can see me here drop down and then you'll go round you kind of go up and round on yourself uh all the weapons and and armor i'm using i'll show at the end of the video once i've beat the boss so if you're interested in seeing what i use just skip to the end and have a look i'll i'll probably put a timestamp uh in the comments so that you guys can find that really quickly when you get to this part and you drop down you're going to be landing on here i'm obviously doing it on the hunter and i'm using stompies i'm going to use the anarchy everybody else i've seen so far has done it with a sword so i'm just going to show you how to quickly do it with the anarchy it's really really easy it would be for any grenade launcher i will do on a separate character not using the anarchy so what i've done here if you're using a sword you can block when that comes past you that kind of grid uh if if you're not using a sword just go into that little alcove bit that i went into wait for it to pass I've got plenty of time i think i complete this in about eight minutes 40. i very nearly never made this video because i didn't feel like it was content worthy because this is my second run my first run was a flawless run. It was 10 minutes, 10 and a half minutes. So I don't, you know, I know there'll be people that will maybe be wondering, you know, if there's faster ways to do stuff. From what I've seen on the Titan, or from what I've heard, should I say, not seen, there is a way to skip all this jumping puzzle on the Titan. I'm not sure the Warlock could do it with uh, the top tree uh, solar. I'm not sure. These little kind of diamond things, when you shoot them, they give you extra extra platforms. And literally, you're just going to follow the path. You're going to ignore as many of the ads as possible. There's no point in getting into any gunfights that are unnecessarily, especially if you want to complete this flawlessly under 10 minutes as I, as I have the video. So we're just literally looking at Lamwa jumps. Be very careful when, you, when you're jumping. Make sure you know exactly where you're going. This section here, these platforms, you don't have to wait for them. As you can see, you'll see a couple of times I'm jumping before they even properly appear because I know after doing it the first time, I know these things are going to appear in front of me anyway. Uh, there's a couple of ads down the bottom here. I'm just going to toss a grenade on them just to get them out of my way and then just keep going. I've got Stompies on, but as I say, I'll put that timestamp in at the end of the video so you guys can see exactly what I used. Uh... The, the main crux of this is speed, but like with anything, when you're doing any of these type of activities, you do want you do want to do them quickly, but it's not a, really about speed, it's about efficiency. Land your jumps, if you need to take an extra second, take that second because the difference between landing the jump and rushing it, massive. Now these things here, these harpies, these yellow buff kind of glowing harpies, they're going to drop this data spike. Uh, and and that basically will unlock a teleporter somewhere. And as you can see, it's marked on the map with the white kind of diamond. Just make sure you're careful here. These things will explode, so you don't spend too much time around them. But they don't really do a they don't really do a ton of damage. The only things that you if you're moving fast enough, as you can see, I'm that's what I'm kind of trying to do. The only things that are really going to bother you are the snipers. There are, there are champions here, and I think there is a triumph for killing champions. Uh, so you you could come back through this at your own your own leisure and kill them. These red squares will have these kind of tracking things. I'm going to activate this because I've unlocked it on the the splicer uh, menu, if you like, at the helm. 
and they give me these platforms. I don't have to worry about jumping to invisible platforms. But these kind of exploders, I am going to kill them. And because if they capture you, they, 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 they capture you. You know, they, they detain you. And the last thing you want is to, to, to be detained mid-air. Now, I know, again, if you're using a sword, you can maybe swipe out of them or whatever. I chose to just shoot them because, as I say, it's, it's, it's quite a straightforward mission. And, as I say, without putting too fine a point on it, the only reason I'm doing this guide is because it's a new piece of content, a new piece of PvE content that's coming to the game, so I kind of figure I'll get my run in there as well. I, I genuinely feel like most of you guys, you, you, you know... You, you're not going to struggle with this. It may take you a couple of attempts, but you're not going to struggle with this. It's very, very simple. And as you can see there, that thing disappeared uh, while I was holding the data spike. Data spike gives you one swipe. So if, if, if as long as you save, and it's the same with any jumping puzzle, you don't want to use boosts or any any unnecessary jumps. You can see here there's, we've got Cyclopses in now. Just kill that explodable thing. I mean, there was Cyclops there. There was a champion there. You know, I think, I I think that that demonstrates how much damage these things aren't actually gonna do. As you can see, because this is my second run, I was still like, where do I go here? Uh, and watch out for here, because um, it's my experience, especially on the. You know, I have done it since this. I think that thing pushes you out, so you have to be really careful when you're going through there. Uh, and, and as I say, it's just jump to the next place. Now, when we get to the boss, which we are now, the main thing here is you've got to get the boss to a certain HP level, and then when you get the boss to the HP level, uh, elite, kind of, kind of elite harpies are going to come out. You're going to shoot them, and basically, they're going to drop a data spike. You have to take the data spike and uh, go and put it in. A, a specific place and as you can see I've got breach and clear on uh, I didn't really know what these things were that I was shooting but they didn't seem to do anything just bring out cover maybe maybe it'll be something for maybe a, a higher difficulty of this mission but uh, very very straightforward I'm just gonna snipe these and pick up the data spike and then there's two places they're both on the same side of the map and I just jumped uh, across to them very simple and the sniper, the, the snipers are not the usual accurate, <laughs> accurate snipers that you might be used to in Destiny, because I felt like I was hardly getting touched by them. You know that they, they, they weren't actually hitting me. So now we're going to find the second. There he is, just waiting for us. I was getting hit a little bit here from the boss, so I just went round the side here and just took him out there. Dodge going viz. And literally when I come back, so that, that's going to be the two data spikes put in. That's going to be the last kind of thing you're going to have to do with the data spikes. Once once we get back over there, I'm going to do the exact same thing because I've got Breach and Clear on. So I've got two Anarchy on them and one on the floor. And that's, so that's big DPS. And you'll see, I'll, I'll maybe put some, hit them early there. Uh, go over the other side. Just avoid the Exploders. There's no need to, to get involved in those. As I say, I was unsure what those things were. I think it was just cover that was bringing up. Very, very Tron looking. I mean, this this is Tron. The red when you're in danger and, the, you know, the, the, the way the colours even are. Very Tron-like. And there you go. Very simple mission. Quite enjoyable. I think we'll get different versions of it. Maybe like the Harbinger. But, uh... That is week one. That is under ten minutes. I'd already done the Flawless on the first attempt, so... Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope this helps you get through it. If, it, if you did enjoy it, leave it a like. And as I say, this is this is the setup that I used. Top Tree Night Stalker. I used a sniper for hitting the, the diamonds. SMG for close range damage. Uh, Anarchy, Breaching Clear, and just, you know, the rest of the mods didn't really matter because I didn't really need that much. So, thanks a lot for watching, guys. I appreciate your viewership, as always. And I'll see you in the next video.